let's talk about assessing your current volunteer engagement and the needs that you have for future volunteer engagement. Successful volunteer engagement exists in the intersection between your organization's needs and priorities and your volunteers' skills and interests. So what we need to do is identify that intersection. In order to do that, we first need to figure out what your needs and priorities are as an organization. One way that we do that is we ask some key questions. How are we currently using volunteers? How can we use volunteers in the future? Or how can we be doing this differently? On a bigger picture level, what are our goals for our volunteer engagement? What are the benefits to our community and our work of engaging volunteers? Also important to ask and acknowledge are what are the costs of engaging volunteers? And finally, what do we want the culture of volunteerism to be in our community? So that we can create an environment that addresses our answers to that sixth, quest, sixth question. How do we conduct an assessment? First, we want to gather together the key stakeholders. That may include any paid staff or your manager, plus your board and or committee members. Uh, that may include existing volunteers and possibly other members of the community who are potential volunteers. You want to get folks together to talk collectively about what their goals for the volunteer program are, as well as any fears or things that aren't working as well currently. These meetings can be collective, or you can have individual meetings with folks to gather their input. What your goal is to, is, is to assess the current volunteer engagement and think about the possibilities for improvement and expansion. We want to shift our mindset from doing the work to getting the work done. Doesn't have to be just this core group of people sitting at the table who do all the work. How can we get all of this important work done with the help of other members of our community? And finally, this is an opportunity to dream big. Sometimes dreaming big is easier said than done. The following activity, a worksheet for which is included in your toolkit, can sometimes help a group identify specifics about new volunteer opportunities. We start with the current landscape and ask folks to list activities that must be accomplished. So within your Main Street community, what are things that need to get done on a daily, weekly, monthly, or annual basis? Next, we ask folks to actually list things that aren't getting done. Sometimes it's because there just enough, aren't enough hours in the day or enough people to help with these projects some things just don't get done on a regular basis. Next, we sort of get to close our eyes and imagine activities that are on our wish list. What are the things that if we had more people, more time, more resources, we wish that we could accomplish within our community? And finally, what are items from the first three boxes that we can move into this fourth box that are activities that volunteers can help us accomplish? We encourage folks to think big or small about volunteer opportunities. An entire project can be a volunteer opportunity or a small piece of that project that will help facilitate its completion can fall into the volunteer column. In this section of the toolkit, you'll find a worksheet with the needs and program assessment questions that we went over as well as the worksheet for identifying volunteer opportunities. 